Hi, I'm Tom Lydon with ETF Trends here in Washington, D.C. at the Charles Schwab Institutional Conference. I'm here with Alex Perret, Head of Client Portfolio Management at Sion. Great seeing you, Alex. Thanks for having me, Tom. So there's a lot going on in the market, obviously thousands of advisors here at this conference. You folks talk to advisors all the time. Are they concerned about the recent volatility coming back to the market? I think the, the conversation has changed from a return perspective to a risk managed approach, right? So clearly I think there are some concerns, but most of the time advisors are sort of the, the, the shining light, if you will, for their clients and they're really supposed to help their clients remove the behavioral biases that, that they might have to be sort of concerned about the market. So I think advisors are staying very calm. They're understanding that volatility is just returning at this point in time. But the conversation is certainly shifting to a more risk managed approach. So with that, as opposed to pure beta strategies that really the ETF industry was built on, sure. What are advisors doing to maybe anticipate there might be more risk in the future since we've had pretty much a nine year bull market in stocks? What are, what are some things that you folks are doing to help them with better tools for their clients based on what's going on in the market today? Yeah, so you know, at Nitixis, obviously we have a, a plethora of tools that, that can help advisors. One of them through Sion is sort of a, a volatility managed approach. And that's where we see sort of reducing, taking that beta down, reducing your overall risk. That can enable an advisor to weather the storm through time. So how do you do that? Well, so, you know, we have an approach where we actually buy low volatility securities, right? So those are securities that tend to have very long dated contracts. They have uh, cash flows that are very steady through time. And so they enable an advisor or an investor to really be able to invest in the market, international markets for uh, our strategies, uh, yet not be exposed to as much of the market, the ebb and flow of the market, if you will. Yeah, so the, do they tend to be more value oriented? You know, I think that that's one of the misconceptions that comes out of, of the conversations that we have. Uh, low volatility has been seen as a, either a value play or a defensive play. What we actually see with low volatility is once, once you're building a portfolio from the bottom up, looking at individual securities, risk and correlations, you actually have a portfolio that will move around through time. So we may, you know, we started the year in a much more cyclical positioning. That's where low volatility was at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And now we're in much more defensive positioning. That doesn't mean value, but it certainly means that we're buying stocks that are considered more defensive at this particular junction. But that's not always where you want to be. That tends to move around. Gotcha. So the ETF specifically that you're talking about, what's the name of it? Uh, so MVIN, it's the Natixis Sion International Minimum Volatility ETF. And the ticker symbol? MVIN. MVIN. Yep. All right, great. Great seeing you, Alex. Thank Thanks, you. Tom. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right, take care.